Hello everyone. So long time no uploads. Yes. So all this was because of my injury that I got in my right hand. Uh, I had a fracture and I wasn't on court for the last nine months. And yesterday was actually my first day to restart tennis. And it was a good day. I enjoyed playing. I played after a long time and it was a good session. So I'm going to discuss about the story that I happened to come across yesterday from this book called The Tao of Happiness. And it's written by Derek Lynn. And the story's name is Chef Cuts the Ox. So this story basically revolves around the butcher at the royal palace and the duke and how he explains his cutting of meat. So one day what the butcher was doing was he was cutting up an ox, preparating the meat probably for a dinner. And he was so engrossed in his work, so determined to finish it, so much you know, into it, that the duke was standing behind him, noticing his every moment, movement, and he couldn't really tell if the duke was there or not. Suddenly, the duke spoke to him that, how can a person do such a normal job, like cutting up the meat of an ox, with such skill and precision? And the duke really found the butcher cutting the meat really majestically and elegantly. So the chef was first surprised to see the duke there, but then calmly responded that uh, this has happened over the time that he has started cutting meat. He explains that when he first started cutting the meat of an ox, he used to see an ox like any other normal person would, like an ox. and. After three years of cutting oxes every day, thousands of oxes, he really mastered the process. He said he started to feel the meat instead of relying on his physical senses. Instead of seeing the meat, he started feeling it with his hands and letting his body take over. He, he described it as following a natural flow. He also said that av an average cook goes through one knife a month. And he said that he has only used one knife for the past 19 years. The Duke really found this interesting and asked the chef to go on about how he cuts his meats and how he goes on to cut the difficult parts, the joints of the meat. So the chef exclaims that the knife is very thin compared to the gap in the joints. He says that instead of seeing the joint, one should feel it and focus all attention and perform the task with taking time and slow and easily make it come apart. He said that the smallest of cuts, even a single cut, can make the joint fall apart really easily. So the Duke finds this really interesting, his work. He finds it really elegant and he was, he, you know, congratulated the butcher that the butcher taught him something that day about life. Uh, the butcher taught him that how every simple task can be turned into such, you know, showcase of precision and skill. How a mere task can be done with such advanced knowledge, with such majestic and elegance. So in explanation of this story, there's not much of an explanation. The story is pretty much self-explanatory. But the story offers four guidelines. These four guidelines, uh, the first guideline would be maintain your sharpness. In this, sharpness refers to physical, mental and emotional well-being. So if you are sharp, if you have a really good physical, mental and emotional well-being, you can easily, you know, power your way through any obstacle. If your sharpness is not there, if you're blunt, if your physical, mental or emotional well-being is not at its best, you will have a really difficult time going through the obstacle. The second guideline that the story offers is using our intuition. 
So as in the story mentioned that he doesn't only rely on his physical senses, instead he connects with his mind. He uses his intuition and his feeling of gut to cut the meat. That's how he does it with such skill and precision. This applies to everything, every task you do in your life. The third guideline mentioned is focus your attention on everything. So this this guideline is presented when he talks about cutting up the joints. Uh, he says when the task is difficult, for example, yes, cutting between the joints, he channels all his focus and all his attention to it. He makes his movement slow and really focuses on it. So focusing our attention on something that is difficult helps us come up through that obstacle easily because all our attention, all our knowledge, all our focus is on that one task and we can really put that time into it and get past that obstacle. The fourth guideline that the story offers is create your art. It mentions that living life is an art. It says this because Everything can be transformed into an art by doing it majestically and elegantly. And the, the writer says that we should see life as an art because every time we accomplish some task, it gives us a sense of fulfillment about completing the artwork if it is seen as an art. It gives us a level of satisfaction which really helps our mind come at peace. The story mentions at last that if followed this Tao or this wisdom, everyone around will believe that we have advanced skills in solving problems. Yet alone, we will know that it is the Tao and not any skill. We believe that the Tao is really useful more than any other knowledge, more than any other skill. Now, how would this help me in my life? These four guidelines can be pretty much applied to any task possible that you have to do in this life. These four tasks will make it really easy to, to you know, pass any obstacle that I face in my life, any obstacles I face on the court, and really help my mind clear these distractions. So, thank you so much.